Hey y'all, this is Olive Destiny and in this video I will be sharing with you all the start to finish styling process on how I got this curly updo on my transitioning hair. Okay, okay, why do I always say that? Okay guys, let's do this. Ugh, so I pretty much shampooed and conditioned my hair. The products that I use, I will link in my description box for you all down below. I should leave a slight crack in the door. Yeah, I think it won't echo as much. Ooh, I wish I had a light behind me. I think it would look better. It'll pop me out from the background. So basically, I'm just gonna do my hair. Well, y'all see it on the screen now, but as we talk, I guess YouTube is just like, we saw it already. Oh, my hair is soft. A lot of you all have requested that. From one of my vlogs, a hairstyle that I was wearing, I'll put a picture up on the screen for you all to see. And since I didn't record it the day that I had done my hair that way, I wanna go ahead and record it for you all. My hair is freshly washed, so I can show you all how I got this style. I still claim to be transitioning for as long as I have relaxed ends I will say that I'm still transitioning even if it's just this small amount in the front that I know people still want to pressure me to cut some people skip over the portion of the video where I say I'll cut it when I feel like it but again she'll cut it when she's ready to I don't really have a set I think of products that I use I normally just go over there to where I keep my hair products at and I just grab a few for the day and say okay these are the ones I'm gonna use today these aren't the exact same products that I use but I don't feel like hairstyles that I do are product specific it's just more so technique specific. This is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie Coconut and Hibiscus one. I didn't use this last time. I'm going to use it this time. But if you're familiar with a few of my tutorials, then you know that I always apply Sulfur 8 Hair and Scalp Conditioner. This is the original formula. I like to put this on my scalp for dandruff helps to keep it down after I've washed my hair. I just part my hair. I guess it makes sense to part it in the front first and do the back off camera. I hate how ring lights pick up little specks of things in my hair which makes you all think that it's still dirty but we don't give disclaimers anymore. My restroom setup is still a little not official yet. If you all saw my vlogs and you saw that little piece that I ordered, I guess it's kind of like a talk through. This is not one of my quick tutorials. You might be here a while. When I put my camera on it, it's not high enough to reach me. It was just filming my necklace and I'm like, this isn't about my necklace. I basically do random sections. Don't think too hard about it at all. And I just put the sofa aid on my scalp. If I'm in a good mood, my sections will look kind of like that grid paper that we used in math classes growing up. So I start off by applying the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, following up with the Sulfur 8 on my scalp. I'm out of gel, so <laughs> this is what I'm using in the meantime. It's the Soft Sheen Carson Let's Jam, the one that's the regular hold. And since my hair is freshly washed, I may or may not have to add more water to it. We will see. Just going to take down another section and repeat the same process. Really, this part is just about getting all of your products layered in the hair before you put the banana clip on, which you will need a banana clip for this look. I try to really get the product like all over my hair um, to make sure it's nicely moisturized and not dry. Plus, I like to put the products in before I begin combing through my hair also. Taking some of the oil. Oh, don't get it on your sweater. <laughs> I'm already dressed, so I don't want to get this like everywhere. I don't want my hair to be dry or feel dry or look dry, so not to oil. Okay, so we work with the majority of the front. Still doesn't look like much yet, but trust me, trust me. So I'm going to begin working my hair up into a high ponytail and I'm using the jam to sleek my hair down. This is kind of like making just a little concoction. I basically just keep reapplying these products to my hair until I feel that it's moisturized to my liking. Everything, everything to my liking. I alternate between the dimming brush, my wide tooth comb, and this brush to begin smoothing my hair up in a high direction. And also you want to put some more oil in the back since it's going to be up. You don't want it to dry back there. Stepping back so I can be in frame. So come in and let me know if you all have to like bend over to get your hair forward. Okay, I'm trying to remember now how I put the banana clip on there. You may see some residue from all of the products I'm applying, but my hair does not dry that way. And also the ring light really makes it look more prominent, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. Than what it really, did, really is, but more of this jam. Lots and lots of jam. I feel like you can never have too much of this in your hair. It kind of disappears the next day anyway if that makes sense okay now i'm going to start grabbing my hair as best as i can this is where you want to use a banana clip over a rubber band because a rubber band is going to pull your hair all tight together using a banana clip makes your hair look much more full and big and longer than it really is i think i put it which way did i put it i should have recorded this the first day i've done this style let me just shut up pretend i'm not recording and do my hair cue the music it seems like i've been brushing my hair forever but I don't know. So I'm going to go ahead and apply the banana clip and to secure it, you basically just twist it into place and it locks over itself like that. Okay. 
it still looks crazy, right? I know. Now, we're gonna define the curls. It's nice and slick in the back. I had this thing for years, but I'm sure if you check the beauty supply store, you can find it. And wait, didn't I say cue the music? Shh, this thing, shh. Okay guys, so now I'm gonna, ugh, what is that? <laughs> I'm gonna begin now to begin defining my curls. So I'm gonna dampen my uh, dimming brush with water and I'm gonna use the jam. When I did this hairstyle the first time, this is where I began to use the Eco Styler Gel, but I'm out of that. Didn't even check to see if my sister had any, so I'm just using the jam and I'm going to just basically spiral curl my hair in sections. Any relaxed pieces that are still left, I'll show you all how we blend those towards the end. I guess I could've gotten dressed after doing this. <laughs> Well, I'm halfway not dressed. I got on sweatpants. <laughs> but I look presentable, huh? All right, so I'm basically done the majority of my hair. Didn't want to waste time just spiraling all of it on camera. But since I'm transitioning, this is kind of how I do it. I feel like it was more full at first, but I just want to keep going. I'm ruining my sweater, and I actually want to wear these today. I'm going to detangle the hair. Shook, still it's already done. And I don't want these to be dry. That's how I'm able to refresh them the next morning and at least get three days out of this look by having oil in my hair. So the front portions of my hair are really more straight. They have more relaxed ends on them. Don't come in and tell me to cut them because I'm not going to do it. This style looks so much better if that's when I stop reading. So you can get the curls to pop a couple of ways actually. When my arms get tired, I just take, oh you can't see. I just take the dimming brush and kind of do like this. But depending, that works more so in the back portion than in the front. So I just have to really get a lot of the jam in the front. But we're gonna make it blend. Like if you're transitioning and you haven't um, cut your relaxed ends just yet, if your hair is like way longer than mine, just worry about curling the pieces that will curl. So I got a trick for the straight pieces. That's why this is more like a transitioning hairstyle. Not a hurry up and be natural already hairstyle. I'm kind of getting lazy with the curling part, but just spiral them to make them more curly. It works better when my hair is more wet. Oh, I'm getting it all over the floor. It's in my eye. It just landed right on my contact lens. It's like a blur spot. You can diffuse this if you want. I'm about to do my makeup, so I don't have to necessarily brush it to try. I should have used all of the same products that I used last time, but because I didn't record it, I don't remember what those products are. At this point, I'm hoping it doesn't dry white, but I honestly don't think it will. I know y'all see the straight pieces. This is what we're gonna do. If I kind of lean forward like this, notice where they are. Like the pieces that are curling, I just let them go ahead and do that. And I grab majority of the end of it like that take it do like this and they basically don't exist anymore Ugh, i can't get it and then i'm just taking a large bobby pin and that's just gonna hold them in place this what man this is why i don't film sometimes I have the nice hairstyle the cute makeup the moment you cut the camera on just ignore the camera do my hair and let it pick up the footage from over there oh they rhyme this is sort of what we had that day no this ain't what we had that day i'm gonna do my makeup and let it do it some oh that's my mama i hope she not here yet i want to wear makeup today I'm supposed to be hanging with Sweet Pea today. Hello? You giving me a washer? Oh, shucks. Y'all got a new washer and dryer? Uh-uh, I was doing my hair. Ah, oh, thanks. I actually just turned my banana clip wide ways instead. I remember that's how I had it. The camera wasn't running though, my bad. But just basically reposition yours. I don't want to mess with the curls too much while they continue to dry. But once they set in place, that's when you can begin to pull and fluff them. Because as I try to do that right now, it's basically messing up my look. And I remember that these were already hanging forward. So I just basically kind of guided them to hang more so forward instead of being like a puff to where you would show your hair in the front and it would be like this. I left them like this and then it's not gonna look exactly the same but i'll insert the picture from the video when y'all really liked it <laughs> yeah this isn't it this is not the exact same look man i should have recorded it that day let's do my makeup actually before i proceed to do my makeup which is actually a separate video uploaded before this video i'm gonna go ahead and lay my edges i'm using my even new york 24 hour edge timer this is the strawberry nutrition one and i'm also using my africa's best edge and comb to just basically lay my edges the way I like for them to look. This is the best edge control. Like with this edge timer, I only have to lay my edges once and I'm good for the day. I don't have to do any touch ups. And I will also say this because I get questions about the edge timer and you know, if someone's natural or relaxed. If you're not new to my channel, you know that I did have relaxed hair. That was the edge timer that I used. Now that I am transitioning, I still use it. My mom and my sisters, we all have different hair textures. I mean, it basically works on all of our uh, different hair types. And just be sure to lay your edges in the back as well. You don't want it looking like ugh, in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and tie my edges down. And this is that separate makeup tutorial I was telling you all about. I don't know why YouTube is trying to play us. A lot of you all told me in the comment section that you did not get notifications for that video. 
the quick look at my hair. About an hour later after finishing my makeup, it is beginning to dry now. So moving right along, I know you all wonder what do you do in the morning? Like, you got a cute hairstyle, now what? <laughs> so I wore that hairstyle for two days. This is basically how I tie it up. You can remove the banana clip since it has combs in it, that way it won't be snagging at your hair. I don't really comb my hair down or anything like that because I've already molded it and worked it into the direction that I want my hair to go in. I'm going to just take some uh, wild growth oil and I'm just going to begin to dampen the brush. I also dampen my hands and I'm just going to reshape my hair. It's not going to look exactly the same as yesterday. I also don't want to disturb my curls because I spent so much time spiraling them. I'm just going to kind of leave them as is. I don't need any extra moisturizers, gels, all of that because I put enough of that in my hair two days ago. And this is basically it. I'm going to relay my edges the exact same way. And that's how I go from one hairstyle to the next day by day if you all were wondering. Okay guys, so that is, <coughs> goodness, ooh. <coughs> okay guys, oh, I hate when I do that. <laughs> that is pretty much the finished hair tutorial. This is basically how I got the look. It's about, let me tell y'all what time it is, 9.34 right now. So, where I should have had the time on the screen from when I actually started to do my hair. For the most part, my hair is dry. If I took my banana clip out, then it would probably still be a little damp in that area. I went ahead and removed my bobby pin because I feel like by me taking my hair and flipping it under like that, once it's dry, you can take it out because it's kind of tucked and curled the ends so it definitely helps them to blend for the time being so I basically removed my banana clip and just uh, regathered my hair and that helped me to kind of lift everything a little bit more if you watch my vlogs and you saw this hairstyle then most likely it is different we all know that every time you do your hair it never turns out exactly the same but this is definitely a general idea in how I do these looks so I don't have like specific products and things like that I know I've been getting questions about making videos on specific products products that I use my staples and products that I always use I have a few so let me know if that video is definitely some you are really 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 want me I want to do a top 18 products of 2018 don't tell me it's too late we're only 15 days into a new year like it's still January but I will only do it if you all are interested in it but I never like to chat too much at the end of my videos I feel like the tutorial is over so I'm really just supposed to say this is the finished look questions and comments be sure to leave all that down below and as always I thank you all so much for watching i have more videos over here of my transitioning wash day routine if you missed that one if you already saw both of those then just check something else in my description box down below or just check out more videos on my channel be sure to click on my cute little face over here to subscribe to my youtube channel and i'll talk to you all in my next video